our next segment, I'm bringing back an oldie but a goodie, depending on your definition of goodie, for a game I like to call Pin the Tail on the Pro-Life Legislator. Uh, the tail being the extramarital affairs of these family value politicians. Um, <laughs> I printed this out at work. I should not have done that. I just started. Um, so, oof, that's not great. OK, so that's how that's going to work. And, and um, so basically, the rules are that I'll pull the name. You'll pull the name of a mistress, and I'll describe the affair and the politician. And then you'll pin the name on who you think it is based on the description. So you'll win. Uh, if you want to win a Radical Girl Gang shirt or a Feminist Life Coach session from Jen Pavich, I'll need two volunteers. Anyone come up. Just come up. Just two, first two bodies. First two bodies. We're, I'm getting her because she's trying the hardest. She's one more, one more person. One more person. Yeah, Shelby. All right. So we're going to, you guys can sit. This is all rehearsed. Um, all right, for the, for the audience, can you please um, state your names? Awesome. So now y'all are going to pick um, a, a card. So you pick, just pick one out and then read it to me. And um, we'll do one at a time. So Gabby, let's start with you. Maria Belen Shapur. All right. This former governor of South Carolina told his wife he was hiking the Appalachian Trail, but instead disappeared for four days to visit his mistress, Maria Belen Shepur, in Argentina, who he'd later become engaged to in 2012 and unengaged to in 2014. Worth it. He was censured by the South Carolina <laughs> General Assembly for misusing public funds to facilitate his affair. He later sought his congr congressional seat back in the House of Reps, garnering many endorsements, including from pornographer Larry Flint, who said, quote, his open embrace of his mistress in the name of love, breaking his sacred marriage vows was an act of bravery that has drawn my support. <laughs> who do you think it is? Who can, Marie, uh, who can hold this? Uh, do we need tape? Oh, yeah. Um, sorry, I have like duct tape. Dollar Tree. <laughs> um, I'm going to go with uh, Mark Sanford. You are right. <laughs> I love that we're clapping to this. All right, Shelby. <laughs> Shelby, who did you draw? Unnamed woman he met while, he met at a hospital while his wife was giving birth. Yeah, oh yeah, love these pro-life guys. Um, this Missouri governor faced scandal last year when he admitted to having an affair with a woman after her husband went public with the info. The governor supposedly first met her at a hospital while his wife was giving birth, pro-life, uh, to one of their kids. The woman told her husband the relationship involved consensual as well as coerced acts, such as when the governor tied her up, blindfolded her, undressed her, and took pics of her without her consent, trying to blackmail her. Ooh, that went weird quickly, her if she spoke about their relationship and reportedly slapped her. He cited his training as a Navy SEAL as why he refused to step down from office despite criminal allegations and possible impeachment proceedings against him for sexual coercion, blackmail, invasion of privacy, and misuse of charity resources to fund his campaign. Brave. Very brave. So who do you think uh, is the man of the hour here for unnamed woman he met at a hospital? <laughs> No hints. No hints. I'm gonna go with Eric Green. You're right. <laughs> All right. Um, next, next card. This is fun, right, guys? This is fun. <laughs> Party game. So you have uh, Gabby Callista Louise oh, yeah. Bissack. This former Speaker of the House, a Georgia Republican, reportedly began an affair with his second wife in 1980 while still married to his first wife. Then he began an affair with a House staffer while still married to his second wife. That staffer is now his third wife, <laughs> Callista, whom he married in 2000. It was later revealed that he was carrying on his affair with Callista while he helped lead an investigation into President Clinton's affair with Monica Lewinsky. <laughs> I love when things come back around. 
So who is Callista's significant man, boy? <laughs> Speaker of the house. Uh, Newt Gingrich. Yay, Newt Gingrich. <laughs> I'm like so happy we're nailing this. It's pretty hard. Um, and Shelby, do you have a new one? Shannon Edwards, this is a fun one. Uh, this this eight-term U.S. rep for Pennsylvania urged Shannon Edwards, a forensic psychologist with whom he had been having an affair, to abort her baby, and she exposed him for it. Plot twist, this motherfucker's pro-life. He resigned after his messages were leaked. Who is this? <laughs> pro-life when it's convenient. Oh, baby, I love it. I am so proud. So proud. All right, last two. Himself. This is fun. This is, this is my favorite. This US rep of good old Texas, I actually cut Trump for time. It was so long, his card. Uh, this US rep of good old Texas describes himself as a constant defender of conservative ideals and values. He opposes abortion and LGBTQ rights, and his history of protecting industries from tighter pollution controls earned him the nickname Smokey Joe. But my nickname for him is Pokey Joe, and not for frequenting, not for frequenting the Texas barbecue chain, but because of the nude selfies from a video of him masturbating that he sent to woman he was having sexual re relationships with while still married, leaked in 2017. One came with a text message that said, I want you so bad, right now, deep and hard. In his defense, he probably thought he was texting an oil driller. Um, also, he voted against Hurricane Harvey relief, which comes as a surprise from someone who seems to be so, so pro-relief. So who is himself? Yes! And I know there's, there's one person left. This has been the most successful game of Pin the Tail. Um, so, but I'll read it anyway. You have an undercover cop? This, this is a classic one. I love this one. This homophobic former U.S. Senator of Idaho was arrested by an undercover cop after he was caught attempting to solicit sex by tapping his foot in a men's restroom in the Minneapolis-St. Paul Airport in June 2017. 2007. Larry Craig. Yes! And so... You both tied, so we can do it two ways. You can either pull the card and figure, and you'll get one of the two prizes, or you can like duke it out and like make this. Is there a prize for each one? There's a prize for each of you. <laughs> You're both winners. Coaching. You got Gen Feminist Life Coach Session, and then you got the Radical Girl Gang um, T-shirt. Give it up for Shab Shelby and Gabby. So I'm gonna give you guys, I'm gonna give you guys pens. Please fill out those cards and um, please fill out those cards and give them to me. The pens and the cards uh, at the end of the show, please. I can't lose those pens or those cards. No, you can go back to your seat and finish. Right. Give it up for Gabby and Shelby. Yeah.